So far, we've talked about several different models that economists use to try to help and explain things and teach things and learn the logic behind why we do the things we do. Today we're going to learn probably the most important model in economics and that is the supply and demand model. And we're going to learn each part of these, the supply in one, demand in one. In this video we're going to learn about demand what it is, how it works, why it's important. This model is drawn using a graph. We have two axes for our graph. On the y-axis we will have price. On the x-axis we will have quantity. Now in economics we are always going to draw when we're doing a supply and demand model price on our y-axis and quantity on our x-axis. A couple different ways you could try to remember it. There's the old saying, mind your P's and Q's. P coming before Q. P comes before Q in the alphabet and P left, Q, right. We read left to right alphabetically. Yeah, many different ways you can try to remember it, but price is going to be on the y-axis quantity is going to be on the x-axis. Now, there is a such thing as the law of demand. This has been proven time and time and time and time and time again and therefore we've come to the fact that hey, this is a law, this is going to happen. The law of demand tells us that as price rises the quantity demanded will fall. Now this makes sense. Think of it, uh, the demand side of the market or the individuals, right? Well, if the price of an item goes up, are you apt to buy more of it or less of it? Well, if you only have X amount of dollars in your pocket, all of a sudden the price of something goes up, you're going to be less likely to purchase that item. You're, gonna, you're trying to maximize utility, you're going to look elsewhere to maximize your utility. So we can draw a demand curve and that's going to show all of the relationships between price and quantity demanded for the certain market we're looking at. Up top's where we would label which market we're actually looking at and we're just going to label it as market for now. It could be any goods and services market that we could think of. However, our demand curve is a downward sloping curve. That means at a high price there is going to be a small quantity being demanded. If the price of something is really high not very many people are going to be willing to purchase at that high price. However as the price goes down more and more people become willing to purchase a larger quantity of that product. Again, it's very important to remember that the demand curve is a relationship between all those prices that you can see and their equivalent quantity demanded. As we go a little further, we're going to see that the demand curve can move around and what that means. So remember, our demand curve is a downward sloping curve. It is showing a relationship between price and the quantity demanded. So what's the quantity demanded at any given price. Next up we're going to take a look at the supply curve. 